Good morning, Christian. <laughs> I imagine you're not ready for a morning person, much less on a Monday morning madness to have a call from, well, you know, God. <laughs> but really, isn't that the time, the best time to seek the Lord while he may be found? To start your day in a better way than you started yesterday? To maybe, if you avoided church and watched football instead, that today you could, if you hear his voice, as we said in the provocation and as we taught on yesterday, that starting your Monday morning madness on your way to work, you could spend five minutes, 10 or 15, getting your soul and your spirit right before God. Or maybe at least just kind of turning it over to him, because after all, it is Monday. And we know that Monday, well, you know, you know what Mondays are like. And while I may not be a part of the workforce per se in the same way that I used to be, it's still Monday morning madness. And it seems like as though certain days have certain ways that seem to affect you in a different way. So today, not only hearing his voice, as we read in the word in daily light today, if you've looked at it, then you know today's the 14th of September and it's Monday and it's Monday morning madness. And we have Monday Night Football tonight, I guess. But Monday Morning Madness is basically about the idea that the concept is we tend to go more physical and not spend much time on the spiritual. Because after all, isn't that what Sunday was for? Well, today, I want you to start thinking in a different way. I want you to return to the Lord. I want you to commit your cares unto him, for he cares for you. And that's in the scripture, and it teaches that in daily light today, is that the spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are made of dust, and from dust will return, and that our infirmities, God knows what they are. He knows that we're weak. He knows that we need him more on a Monday morning than we need him sometimes on a Sunday morning. Because Sunday morning is kind of like, well, you know, at least you know that you're going to get, you know, kind of a God talk, you know, and all the other stuff. But on a Monday morning, you're probably in a hurry to get to work. You want to get cleaned up. You want to get fixed up. You want to get set up. Or maybe you got to run the kids to work. Or is that the kids to school? Well, school is work. So maybe you haven't put on your mask yet. Let's see. I should put on my mask, you know, to show you that, you know, hey, yeah, we do that too. You know, is that this is the COVID crisis time, you know, where we should pay attention to all the things that we're supposed to do, right? Wrong. You should be doing it as a matter of course to set an example for those around you. Because if you are the salt of the earth and the light of the world, then you set the pace, you set the example. And that's why Monday morning, even though business typically wants you to rush, 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 go to a meeting, get to a meeting, sit in a meeting, you know, Monday morning, after all, we gotta set the time and the place and the, the way to work for the week. Well, I'm pulled over on the side of the road looking around at my uh, rock pile that I'm going to collect some rocks from. And sitting up above, uh, oh, the Salt Lake Basin, you know, I kind of look over at Salt Lake City and the sun hasn't come up yet. It's about 7.08 and we've been on this for about four minutes. I know it seems longer, doesn't it? And God is here. You see, God is with you. God isn't just in the heavens but rather he has sent his son so that they would open up an opportunity to come and become one with God. And the way that God does that is that he sent after his son was risen from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the father. He sent his spirit that his spirit might reside or might live in you. And so if God is living in you, then you have an opportunity to get your ever ready batteries, batteries recharged. You got an opportunity to Duracell it, you know, to be more than just the simple struggling human being that you are. And rather now, as I put this on my, my, uh, what do we call this? Steering wheel. You can become, see, I have to have my hands free because I talk with my hands. Yeah, see, but <laughs> the point is you can become more than human. You can become godly. You can become after the nature of God, which is what a Christian means. It's like a little Christ or having the nature of Jesus in you. 
Wouldn't you want that on a Monday morning when everything's going wrong to be able to cast all your cares on him for he cares for you? And he does. You see, God cares for you. And that's the point that you need to remember all day today. Whether you go through, you know, like your business goes bankrupt or you have to fire somebody or you have to shut the doors or you have to put on your mask or you have to deal with the public or you have to work hard in the laboring of the fields or you have to, you know, like me, carry a bunch of stones in the back of your car to build some rock fences or whatever it is that you're doing today through this Monday morning madness, it is a day that the Lord has made. You can rejoice and be glad in it. And the way that you do it is you cast, you throw, you give to God your cares because he cares for you. He knows what you're made of. He knows your weakness. He knows your strengths. You really don't have much strength, so you might as well just kind of admit that to yourself. But if you cast all your cares on him, then he cares for you more so because you're trusting in him. You're not just trusting in him with your physical or your emotional or your financial, but you're trusting in the Lord with all your heart, leaning not in your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledging him because you're casting your care on him. You see, every day should be a day that you turn it over to the Father. You turn it over to the Son. You turn it over to Jesus, you know, the three in one. <laughs> it's a song from way back in the Jesus movement. But the point being is that you can have your day turned around from madness to gladness. Ha <laughs> ha, surprise. Didn't see that one coming, neither did I. It's like, oh, hey, that rhymes. Hey, let's work with that one. <laughs> let's hip hop it. <laughs> madness to gladness, from gladness to sadness, from sadness to, oh boy, we're gonna get our madness back. <laughs> no, but the reality is, is that we can always have the kingdom of heaven here now coming on earth revealed through us by way of us caring and restoring our relationship with God so that way wherever we are however we are even when we feel tired and groggy and foggy and soggy that we can still be the preservative of the world we can still stop the slide into you know oblivion into madness and chaos. We can end the violence. We can stop the biases and the prejudices and the hatreds. We can turn the world around and remind it to love one another as he has loved us. Because today, I want you, whatever it is that happens to you, to cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you.